Ski. See you, hey, Okay, Rowdy welcome Rowdy. back to this week's edition of the Bar Room Blitz. Oh! Dougie is back <laughs> from a little layoff here, a little Yay! short break. We're back talking sports. We got the dead guy behind the camera. We got Don Marama. We got Cheeks. I'm here. And the show. We got Jimmy Case. We're going to talk some NBA. The Sixers. No, we're not. First time over 500 since November 6, 2009, when they were 3 and 2. <laughs> How pathetic 30 is that? and 29. All right, time out. Time out. Can we take one away? Did you see the game Friday against Detroit? Uh, you can't count that as a win. Detroit you know? Pistons. That <laughs> I've never heard. I, I mean, I heard a lot of shit. And I thought maybe they had a walkout. I still, cheeks. I thought maybe yeah. I still wasn't quite up they when they said this and thing. Yeah, yeah. And then Sunday they said it again, and now Monday it exploded on Mike and Mike. Mm -hmm. I've never heard that was anything disgusting. Like in my life. That's I've never disgusting. Heard anything like the, the team has they quit. It's a mutiny. No, I, but didn't they win well, after I, the walkout though? I, I think, know they won a game since know. then. Jeez, I think they're watching too much going on in the Middle East. <laughs> <laughs> we can, hey, oh, man. hey, we can just say we don't want to do a protest. Six guys. He played six guys. Uh, seven. Was it? Six. No, only six. six. <laughs> and the coach got thrown out early, and they were all they were all like laughing and cheering. They were laughing him. when he got thrown ah, out. That was horrible. Awesome. <laughs> this is a team that people are paying good money. That's a team that to go, I, if I was a Sixer, I would want my money back. Right. Well, there's only ten thousand people there. <laughs> <laughs> that's a team that won. The, that's a team that won the NBA championship. What? Two thousand seven. Yeah. What yeah. happened? They had, a, they had a fire sale. Yeah. Well, yeah, Chauncey. Yeah, but isn't that Still, amazing? That's yeah. disgusting, though. No. John Kuster, see you later. You will not be the coach of the Detroit Pistons after this. They allow it to yeah, happen. Yeah, you know what? I would not. Ownership allows it to happen. Yeah, I'd let that blame. coach be there. I get rid of players. Yep. Yeah, start trading. Uh, you have to figure Ownership who you want to back. Who, yep. who is it? It's I mean, not you that can't, easy. They though. can't run it. They you, can't run it. You can't just right. dump players. The NBA yeah. is run by the players. The NBA is run by the players. There's the problem. Exactly. And get ready for your lockout, because here it comes. Well, that'll be the, that'll be the best tell, thing that happens. Well, to they're NBA. telling me, like, they're telling where I'm playing this year. Like Chris Paul knows where he's playing in a year and a half. It's gonna he's be the next. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, don't even. And uh, and you know what? It's, they're, they're, it's they're ruining they're basketball. About it. yeah. It's ruining and, basketball. And they said it. Carmelo Anthony did that at his wedding. That he'll be a Nick, and the owner of the Nuggets was in his <laughs> at his wedding, and he's toasting at his wedding. Like, I'll be. We'll all be Knicks and two, like you know, yeah. want to slap in the face. Like, what do you? What's the owners? Well, that's like when the owners were, were. You know, obviously, Carmelo Anthony got traded to the Knicks. Right. He got his wish. Poor Chauncey Billups. He didn't want to go to the Knicks. Nope. He was born in Colorado. He played college well, he basketball in Colorado. He's going to retire. He does, there. Yeah, he yeah. wanted to go in Colorado. And then the owner and then the general manager are crying that they had to trade Chauncey Billups. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, you know, all of a sudden now the Knicks are have a team with Chauncey Billups, well, Carmelo what, Anthony, and Amari Stoudemire. Chauncey Billups is playing fantastic. Well, he's a good ball player. He's goal, very. So I hope he can last. Like, that's right. That's what I worry yeah, about. Yeah, but he's been, you know, he was player of the month in December. It's not like they threw yeah. in Chauncey Billups in the so deal. So brings us to the Heat game. Did you watch but it that's a what I, But that's what everybody says. Like, oh, we just Cha – Chauncey's like – do people know Chauncey Billups? Yeah, he was, like, he was like, wasn't he the finals MVP well, for the 2007, Detroit Pistons? Yeah. yeah, 2007. Yeah. But, I mean, you watch the Heat game? Yes. And I'm I saw that Miami has problems. Yes, they do. Stottlemyre killed him inside. Did you see it? No he big killed man. him inside. And James is a pussy, dude. Well, he does not want to play defense. Dude, I watched when they started running, he stood at the middle of the court and just let, let – when they did, they had two runs, the Knicks. They had a 16-2 run, yeah, yeah, at the end. and then and then the Miami battled back, and then they had another in the fourth quarter, because I thought it was over, because then Miami was coming back, and then Knicks did another, I think it was a 15-1 run, and I'm going to tell you, LeBron James stood in the middle of the court, well, he didn't want to waste well, any energy, he didn't want to They don't move, right. they don't move, they don't, yeah. they don't have any, they don't have That's an offense, they That's don't have like the triangle offense where they can move those guys, <laughs> where uh, if like Dwayne Wade drives the basket... LeBron James isn't cutting or moving to come in and get another oh, no. open shot because he's, 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 he's not going to shoot a jumper. He's standing on the side of the court. Yeah, yeah. So I mean that is what it, it, it's unbelievable. Well, here it is. And Chris Bosh is a small power, like small, like a lighter power forward. I'm not going to say he's six. He's six foot ten, six eleven. He's a four guy. And he's, yeah, he's he a four guy, but he's going to he's playing five sometimes, and, and he's I, getting pushed around. And like and a guy as strong as Amari Stoudemire is going to push you around all night long. And a hope, and like you said, hopefully with the Celtics and. Jermaine O'Neal. They're going to run three guys that are big and massive. Jermaine O'Neal has to play well, a game for saying. the Celtics, all right? But so just stop bringing up Jermaine O'Neal. But I'm saying, if he can, you're going to run three guys at Chris Bosh. Chris Bosh is bad. He just is the forgotten soul. And you know what? G I want LeBron James with the ball in my hand, in his hand with two seconds left 
The three-pointer to win it? No, the guy can't shoot a jumper from down there. <laughs> but before we go to any His further, left hand you got shot. Joe Johnson, who <laughs> won the three-point. You got Mike Miller, Eddie House. Boy, I know all those guys can knock down the three-pointer because they all did it in big times and big. It's but just unbelievable. Dougie, Dougie, they want the big guy to have it. Well, the big guy, I tell you what. Want the big well, guy don't put so for the Knicks. Also, don't put all your, your, your eggs in the Knicks basket. They also lost to Cleveland the other no. day. Yeah, well, no, I'm, I'm not, not saying I'm oh. not saying the Knicks are that good. No, I'm just saying, saying, but I'm saying heat, you don't, I don't think the, heat, the Heat's just not. Just watch the Sixers. There. They've won their last four games and seven out of the last when the ten, Knicks baby. Come in, when they play as a team. When the Knicks and come, they're like playing bad teams. When the Knicks come into Miami and it's blown out and the Knicks are, this is. We're good. This is what we're about. And you lose. You only score 86 points against the Knicks who don't play defense. That's not good. That's not good. Because, you know, I know it was February 27th. But, you know, the Knicks just made – I know the Knicks aren't going to go. They might win. They're going to be – they're going to battle. But the, the dream team, we're going to win eight championships. Man, they – uh, It's going to be a long you, road. You How about the Spurs? They, they might come out of here and take it all. I mean, they lose. They lose. They lost. As long as they don't break down. They lost a good player, and then this I, other dude. What the? I can't pronounce his name. Ginobili. Yeah, he comes in and he, he pops thirty five up. I he's a good player. Ginobili's a great player. player. I just don't know. How about the trades, Doug? Now, Dougie, how about the trade? You trade uh, Perkins away. Does that that? I think we were talking about that the other night. That hurts the Celtics. You hear what Kobe much. said? You hear what Kobe said? He don't understand that. I I don't understand why that at Kobe all. doesn't understand it is because. <laughs> No, and honestly, <laughs> the Celtics. I'm scared of what you're going to say. No, now. the Celtics <laughs> made their. The Celtics <laughs> made. I am too. By the way, the Celtics made their trade. Perkins is going to need. Perkins is going to want big time basketball money next year. And guess what? The Celtics are not going to give it to you. So let's trade and get two guys. But we, they, the Celtics were not going to get a couple workers. They were not going to be able to afford him next year. You got and rid of my boy, Heron Goody. Why didn't he play yesterday? It, it wasn't finalized. The trade was not finalized. Okay, so I was kind of wondering. But what did they get? He wasn't here, available. I'm, I'm trying to figure out what they got here. They got uh, they got that center ro- Rachi something. They got Christy. Wilson Chandler, Dan Lowe, guard center. Oh, Timothy Mazagu. What? Is that who they got? Oh no! Oh, is that the wrong trade? Oh, that's the wrong trade. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! Hold it! They got they uh, got Nanad Christic and uh, Erden. Jeff Green. Right. Cleveland for second round pick. They traded Heron Goody away. Yeah, yeah well, that was just a month. They just get rid of him. But you know what? We'll see. Perkins. How about how would you like to be Baron Davis and getting traded away to the New Jersey Nets when you had freaking um oh I can't Blake Griffin as your uh your your playmate, you know? Yeah, really. You know, and all of a sudden you're on the Nets, going to you know play what? in Brooklyn. Because I don't think he's as good as you. I, I, he had those two, three player. years, didn't he? And I, I just don't think. He's on the juice. I, I just don't think he has the the, the uh, ability anymore. But, I mean, I could be wrong. But, yeah, Cheeks, you're right. That that Kendrick's. Roby's right. It does hurt. He's going to help the Thunder out, I'll tell you that. Gives him a little bit of a presence in gives the underneath. Almost, gives him almost their big three, Westbrook, Durant, and, and Perkins. Perkins, yep. Especially, uh, especially in the West. With Perkins coming from the east, he's going to be down a little banging Gasol, banging Odom, banging Tim Duncan, banging, you know. What do you think about the, the Anthony trade? Don't, I mean, do you think they made out in that deal? Who? Denver? No, they got shafted. He did, the owner even said that. I he mean, said that the yeah. next day that they, that they got the worst part of the deal. I mean, because yeah. they they're banking on a couple draft picks, basically. They, well, they got draft. Did, did they get? Did they get money or give? They got three. They, they, they got three million. They got three million. No, they got cash, and yeah. ten, which two is draft not, picks. Which, well, the draft picks, but it doesn't. It's, it does nothing the, for them right now. Well, the, this is the worst, as every college scout will say, the worst NBA draft. In ten years is this year. Okay. I think they have. I don't know. I mean, I yeah, they but have, they've they said that before. And there's yeah. players coming out. You just got to make the right choice, Dougie. You got to make the right choice on your players. Right, but I'm saying like number, like you know, years ago, Jim Moose said, "Oh, these guys definitely number right. one." I don't. Oh I, yeah, I've I been don't. watching a lot of college basketball. Yeah, and uh, Jimmer for that. Yeah, best well, what, player. What's Jimmer. What's he I love do? the Jimmer. He's not, well, he's, you. Be he's not being number one draft pick. Yeah, what I'm saying, he's the best college basketball player right now. And, that's, that's I just yeah. don't at a BYU. Yeah, I just don't see. Uh, the NBA they made some good trades. Like I said, 
Did it hurt their NBA? Because now there's going to be, like, next year there's going to be eight good teams and the rest just sit outside. Or what do you well, that's the, do you, you like look that back not? in the 80s, there's only eight good teams that are going to have a shot to win it. And what, you know what does it? It's got a lot of guys in the right spot. So you got Boston, you got New York, you got L.A. Chicago's not a bad team. Chicago's yeah. very good. Yeah, and you got you, know, you yeah. got your big three down south, which, you know, you're, you're covering a lot of area, you know. I like the way the East got Oklahoma that. City's the wild card in the thing. If they can come make a little run, they'll, they'll, they'll surprise everyone because I'll say well, Oklahoma City's in the finals right. or something. I like the way the East got. You know? I like the East. I'm, I like that the East got better. You know, the Sixers get. I, I like yeah. it. The Sixers, well, the Sixers, Sixers are a player away, baby. Well, that, that, it just, that's what it was. The White House. They're <laughs> always a player away. That's, White what House. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it was when we were growing up. Yeah. The East, Beast of the East. You know, you just all right. all the teams. Well, why don't we grab another Bud Light and we'll be right back with some more Barroom Blitz. Dot. Um, See how quick I was with that. You're on time. You're a great dot. <laughs> 